Hey YouTube, Dirty Printed Life here once again. Today with the completed Z-Axis. Um, I finished this late last night, but I wasn't as shocked at how great it was compared to when I did the first one, because I already expected that. Um, so I didn't feel like making a video right away. I'm still really happy with it. I just kind of expected this after seeing the single um, piece and how good that was. So the bed, very rigid. Honestly, this moving here is the whole thing shifting up because there's a little bit of space in here with the pulley. But that won't happen ever on a print because there's nothing ever that's going to push it up. But as far as wiggling, um, like I said before, it's like fractions of a millimeter and um, it, it shouldn't ever really tip either because um, they're like unless the weight there's a really really heavy object printing on this side like really heavy um, but that's probably never gonna happen and even if it did you wouldn't even notice it so I think it's okay um, the drive mechanism has been put in uh, my belt is a tiny bit too long, so as a result, my bed is too far forwards. Um, I would like this to be another 20 millimeters back so that it will clear these brackets on the bottom when it goes down all the way. And um, also, I believe 20 millimeters back will center it uh, underneath like the, the print area pretty much perfectly. So I can run it real quick for you guys. I just got to loop that around. Um, also, I printed out this piece, but it didn't have enough clearance and wasn't that nice, so I'm just using a pulley on a screwdriver. Okay, I gotta pause this. Okay, so I got it. This is gonna be a bit difficult to do with one hand, so I'm gonna have to pause it and then bring it back when it's already moving, because there's no other way to do this. Okay, so now it's moving down, if you can tell. Uh, it moves pretty slow. I calibrated it right now so it should be the right amount of steps per millimeter um here you can see the little pulley spinning my hand holding it pulley motor is spinning can't really oh you can see that and yeah this guy's moving down that threaded rod is spinning rather slowly and it's moving um oh oh okay yeah, I really need a little table here, but this bin's going to do fine for now. Um, so, that's pretty much it. It's not super exciting, but it's exciting for me because I know this is going to work, which is great news. So at this point, what do I have to do before I have a completed printer? I have to modify this piece so that it's uh, the things a little bit farther out so that it does not hit these screws in here that are holding this to the frame. Um, I have to probably make another one of these and put it in the middle or something to increase the tension on this belt so that I can move this farther away from the wall so that it's how it's supposed to be. And then I'm pretty much done. I, I have everything printed. Oh, and um, the little nut holder pieces that are going to go on here to hold the nuts for the bed. I gotta print four of those. But yeah, after that it's done. I am literally just waiting on nuts, which is just wonderful, as I'm sure you could guess. Um, uh, in, in case you care, I actually had a dream last night that I found them, but the problem is I found them in this drawer, and the reason I found them there is because that's where I'm keeping everything now. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that unfortunately didn't help. Um, yep, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Uh, the nuts that I ordered are supposed to arrive Wednesday or Thursday at the latest. So hopefully by Friday, I will have a working printer. That would be pretty awesome. And um, I'm also leaving for the weekend, so if I don't get them uh, by Thursday, actually, I won't be able to make it until Monday. So um, hopefully I get those Thursday so I can throw the thing together uh, the rest of Thursday and Friday. And hopefully get a few prints out of this thing before I go away on a little um, weekend or to my family in Virginia. Yay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you like this new little bed. Um, I will explain why in a later video I decided to stick with the dual um, Z-screw, despite the fact that one was so stable. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about that in a... 
whole a big video where I talk about the design in general and each of the features and why I chose to do what and what they do exactly and all that stuff. So if you are interested in that, please subscribe. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you like this video, thumbs up. I'm going to shut up now. I'll see you all later.